This is what an EU summit in the time of COVID looks like, with Britain no longer on the guest list. Everyone here says they want a deal, but not at any cost. If there aren't good terms at the end of the talks, we are ready for no deal, says French President Macron. Boris Johnson, whose contact with EU leaders has been limited by the virus for months, had said there had to be a deal by today or he would walk away. Well, that hasn't happened yet. There are three sticking points in the negotiations. Fishing, how much access will boats from EU countries have to British waters? State aid, how far will Britain be able to break from EU rules on helping businesses? And what will be the system to resolve disputes between the two sides? Fishing has become a toxic issue. One there. There's one there. This was a standoff between British and French scallop boats in the Channel on Monday. But could this relatively small part of the economy be sacrificed in pursuit of a deal? I think there would be a political outcry um, because it is, uh, fishing has been so pivotal to uh, the, the whole exercise of leaving the EU. What, why do we do it if we, if we can't control our own fisheries? Both sides are under pressure, but if there are hold-ups at the Channel ports, the government knows British citizens may feel the consequences of no deal first. Given the scale of disruption that no deal implies, it's perfectly possible that we'll end up with shortages of some products. It might be fresh fruit and veg. Uh, it might, in some extreme cases, be some medicines because things are so clogged at ports. Prices of some imported goods will go up because we're charging tariffs on them. Talks in Brussels today weren't helped by the president of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, having to pull out because someone in her office tested positive. Meanwhile, UK citizens outside demanded a deal. There's not much time left to get one. Andy Bell, 5 News.